Classroom of the Elite Season 2 Complete Recap Let's get into it. The season starts with the first years being informed of a second special test. The students are split into eight groups with students from each class. The objective is to guess the identity of a VIP in their group. There are four outcomes. In all cases, if the VIP's classmate sends a correct or wrong answer, it will be deemed invalid, and the test continues. On the day of the exam, neither Kiyotaka nor Suzune are VIPs. At the first discussion, most of Kiyotaka's group wants to go with Case 1. However, Class A stays silent to avoid Case 3. After the discussion, the Class C girls confront K, claiming that she bullied one of their classmates. During the second discussion, the group remains at a deadlock. The next day, Hirata is told that Kikyo is a VIP, and he tells Kiyotaka. Koenji finds his group's VIP, and ends his group's test. Suzune is upset about it, and decides to unite Class D to get the most class points. They want to use K as a primary player, since she is popular. Ryuin then shows up and brags that he convinced his classmates to give in their phones, so he'll know the results. Kiyotaka then walks in on K, begging Hirata for protection, to which he agrees but states that they aren't dating. Kiyotaka shows himself, and Hirata explains that he agreed to protect her because she was severely bullied in the past. Later, Kiyotaka's group remains at a deadlock, but he notices that the classy girls are eyeing down K. After the fourth discussion, the girls follow K and attack her. Yukimura and Kiyotaka intervene, but K brushes them off. Later, K is lured to a secluded part of the ship where the classy girls abuse her again. Turns out Kiyotaka set it all up. After the girls leave, Kiyotaka approaches Kei and vows to protect her in exchange for her becoming his pawn. During the final discussion, they decided to show their assignations to reach case 1. Everyone complies, but Yukimura hesitates and then reveals that he's the VIP. Kiyotaka created a ploy by trading their cell phones, making it look like he's the VIP, but is exposed. However, it turns out to be a double ploy and Kei is the real VIP. Kiyotaka actually switched phones and SIM cards with her, using something he bought from the teacher. In the end, Class C wins the test, with Ryuan explaining that a Class D student sold that Kikyo was one of the VIPs. Back at the school, it is announced that there will be a sports festival with the theme of Team Red versus Team White. In each event, the top three have a choice between a thousand private points or bonuses on their exam, and the bottom ten lose bonuses. Each class gets to decide the participants for each event. Later, Susan suggests that they should pair stronger and weaker students to win the events, at the risk of the weaker students losing out on merits. Kei disagrees with Suzune's proposal and tries to counter. The class votes and ends up going with Suzune's idea. Later, Kei and Kiyotaka discuss how he ordered her to refute Suzune, with Kiyotaka predicting that there will be a traitor in the class. Kiyotaka then proposes that he, Suzune, and Kikyo go surveilling Team White, believing that Kikyo sold out her VIP information. While surveilling, Suzune blatantly asks if Kikyo sold her VIP information, and she denies it. The sports festival then begins. Ryuen and Class C play dirty, beating down Sudo and injuring Suzune. Team White continues targeting them, lowering Class D's morale. K and Kiyotaka believe that the Class D trader leaked the participation list to Ryuen, allowing them to play dirty. Sudo is enraged, punches Hirata in an argument, and then leaves. Kiyotaka tells Suzune to convince Sudo to rejoin and use him as her personal weapon. Later, Kikyo takes Suzune to the medical office where Yuen is waiting. He frames Suzune for injuring a student on purpose and demands 1 million private points or he will tell the school of the incident. She has until the end of the festival to respond. Elsewhere, Kiyotaka confronts Kikyo about her being the traitor. She reveals that she backstabbed Class D out of her desire to see Suzune and Kiyotaka expelled. Suzune wins over Sudo with her motivational Riz and he rejoins the festival. Suzune and a male student drop out of the final event, so Kikyo and Kiyotaka step in for them. Manabu and Kiyotaka decide to race, shocking the school at how fast they are. In the end, Class D ends up coming in last. To resolve the extortion, Suzune meets with Ryuen, who receives an email from an anonymous user, containing a recording of him instructing a student to injure Suzune, which causes him to back off. Manabu resigns as a student council president and is replaced by this guy. Miss Chabashida then lets the class know about their final exam, the paper shuffle. Two students will be paired up and must score above 60 points as a pair or both will be expelled. The pairs will be determined through a mini test. Each class makes the questions that will be answered by another class. The classes go head to head and whichever class scores higher will steal 50 class points from the other. Suzune then tells Kiyotaka about Kikyo's past. She explains that they went to the same middle school. Sometime before graduation, an incident imploded a class and rumor had it that it was Kikyo's doing. They then devise a plan to have some students flunk the mini test. So the highest scorers get paired with the lowest scorers, creating an average threshold. Class D will have study sessions for the paper shuffle, with Kikyo and Suzune as overseers. Yukimura oversees a pair, and Kiyotaka joins to track progress. After, Suzune meets with Kikyo alone. The two make a bet for the math exam. If Suzune scores higher, Kikyo will stop messing with her. Otherwise, Suzune will drop out. To acknowledge it as a real bet, Suzune gets her brother to witness. After he leaves, Kikyo senses that Kiyotaka is eavesdropping and asks to meet up. At the meetup, Kikyo adds another condition, that if she wins, Kiyotaka will also drop out, to which he agrees, but he demands to know about her past. She explains that she is an attention seeker that fiends for praise. She gained everybody's trust by becoming a doormat, which took a toll on her. 
So to vent, she created a personal blog where she gossiped about her classmates. One day, they found out and shunned her, to which she responded to by revealing everyone's dirty secrets and destroying the class. The next day, Kikyo then makes a deal with Ryuen to let Class C win. At a meeting, she tries to motivate everyone and Kay picks a fight with her, splashing a drink on her uniform. Kay then apologizes and offers to clean it for her. Sometime after, Kikyo volunteers to submit the test questions and asks Miss Chabashira to discard any other copies from Class D. She then gives the questions to Ryuen and the test day comes. During the math test, Kikyo is shocked. After, Kikyo gets angry at Ryuen, who lets her know that Suzune saw through it all. Suzune asked Miss Chabashira to accept her and only her copy of the questions and discard everyone else's. Kikyo finds a cheat sheet on her uniform, meaning that Ryuen sold her out to the Class D mastermind. Angry that Kiyotaka used him, Ryuen targets K to fish him out. The next day, a Class C student follows K around. Many Class D students are being provoked by Class C, with Suzune noting that Ryuen is doing this to pressure the mastermind. Afterwards, Kiyotaka is taken to a room where his father awaits. His dad says that their butler committed suicide after getting fired for helping Kiyotaka apply for the school and escape him. He then tries to force Kiyotaka to sign a withdrawal form and rejoin the white room, but Mr. Sakayanagi, the school's chairman and Arisu's father, intervenes. Later that night, Kiyotaka apologizes to Kei for using her and tries to cut ties with her. Ryuen reveals his plan to fish out the mastermind by using Kei as bait. He lures her to a construction site and then bounds her. He forces her to reveal the mastermind, or else he will expose her past bullying to destroy her friendships. Kei continues protecting Kiyotaka, prompting Ryuen to begin torturing her. He claims that the mastermind set Kei up during the special test on the ship, which almost made Kei break, but she kept her composure. Elsewhere, Kiyotaka meets with Miss Chibashira and Manabu, asking them to witness the aftermath. Kiyotaka arrives at the site to save Kei, revealing himself as the mastermind. Ryuen threatens to beat up Kiyotaka and commands his underlings to do so. Kiyotaka folds Albert, Ishizaki, and Mio. Ryuen and Kiyotaka then engage in an all-out brawl, which ends with Kiyotaka violently beating Ryuen's face with an emotionless expression. Kiyotaka then comforts Kei and reassures her that he will always come to save her. The next day, Kiyotaka lets Suzune know that her brother wants her to join the student council. Ryuen is now one of Kiyotaka's pawns. On Christmas Day, Kiyotaka and Maya meet and go on a double date with Kei and Hirata. After, Maya confesses to Kiyotaka and he turns her down, due to him never having romantic feelings for anyone. Kei witnesses the rejection and asks if he views everyone as tools, to which he doesn't give a clear answer. Kei gives him a present, to which Kiyotaka reciprocates with cold medicine. He calls her by her given name for the first time and the two head back, while he ponders how she's a good pawn and if he will ever feel something more. As they part, Arisu follows him and reveals that she knows him through the white room. She then declares war. Now, with this elite knowledge, you should be able to remember everything. Go and enjoy season three. Peace.